Hey you guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. I am Holly Lenora and today's video by the thumbnail, you already know it is a Holly haul. I love Holly hauls, not being biased or anything. <laughs> so let's get into it. If you are new, hey, what's up? I hope you're doing well. I would love it if you joined my beauty YouTube family. We are all things positive and fun here, all things makeup. We like skincare too. That sounds like something you're interested in. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into the Holly haul. This is a haul from Sephora. This is a haul from the Sephora in Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, I do enjoy going to the Charlotte Sephora because my Sephora here is a Sephora JC Pennies and it's not it's a good Sephora. It just is small. We don't have all the brands that the freestanding Sephoras have. And when new launches are released, I feel like my Sephora is the last one to get them on the shelves. And by the time it does get to my Sephora, it's like, this product is uh, kind of old. Do I get it? The hype's kind of done. And I know like with foundation, I could purchase them online, but y'all, I have so many foundations that just aren't my actual shade and I've tried them out just to do a foundation wear test or whatever. I love foundations, but I'm freaking tired of getting foundations that aren't my shade. So we went to Charlotte and yeah, I got a bag full of goodies. Let's go. First thing is first, I love a good highlighter. I'm actually wearing the Iced Out Highlighter by ABH right now, but I have been eyeing this highlighter for the longest time. This is from Natasha Denona. It is the I Need a Nude Glow Highlighter. From what I have heard, seen, watched on YouTube, this highlighter is the bomb. This is where it's at. So. Of course, I had to pick it up. Like I said, it's not new anymore. This I just wanted for myself. Maybe I'll do it. I'll use it in a plain with new makeup video or something. This is what she looks like. That is beautiful. It is stunning. This seems to have more of a tan color to it as opposed to the Iced Out, which is... It looks white, but when you apply it, it's gold. I know I had a conversation in the comments with someone who was going to try it, and I think they did purchase it, and they talked about how the ABH one was gold as opposed to like the champagne -y light ones. I totally agree. But this one, yeah, I don't want to use the word gold. I want to use the words tan. Can you guys see that? Like when the light hits it? more of an iridescent kind of skin like shimmer as opposed to like the gold you know what I'm saying am I making sense I need to work on explaining products better but that's what she looks like it's beautiful I cannot wait to play with her I do really enjoy Natasha Denona products she's pricey but her products are beautiful Mwah. chef's kiss to her well at least the products that i've tried next up i picked this product up out of curiosity curiosity killed the kitty Meow. this is the charlotte tilbury flawless filter it is not a foundation that's where i was like wait what not a foundation so this it says for a superstar youth glow you can use it as an all over the face, flawless filter, or on top of foundation if you want extra coverage. But once again, it's not a foundation. So I'm really anxious to play with this. Um, I have the shade 2.5 Fair, as well as the shade 3 Pale. No, 3, three Fair and then 2.5 Fair. What else? Two different shades. I got one actual size one and then one of the minis because I wasn't sure which shade would match me better because you cannot test the products for obvious reasons not arguing with that let's see what she looks like see it looks like a foundation but I mean if they say it's not then it's not so there okay well it blends right in don't know if you guys can see that I can certainly see, I can see that when I turn it towards the light, I can see it like I see the highlighter. Man, my hand gets so pale once I clench my fist. Anyways, um, so looking at it, I don't know how, sh how that'll work 
all shimmery like against my whole face but that's why we have playing with new makeup videos so I am excited to try those out I hope they work well because Miss Tilbury is not cheap next up now this is new new and this is from Char not Charlotte Tilbury where is my brain today I don't know <sighs> I guess it left with my sanity it's fine it's fine. Everything's fine. Okay, this is new, new from Too Faced. This is their killer liner. I got the shades uh, Killer Cashmere. Should I just stop, like, right now? Killer Cashmere. And then this is the shade Killer Storm. This is a charcoal -y shade. And then this, of course, is like a uh, beige nude shade. I do enjoy wearing nude colored soft browns light beiges and all that on my lower lash line just to make the eyes appear wider and brighter more vivid and awake and then the charcoal one i am just excited to smudge it out and create a smoky eye i was going to get the black but i have so many black liners gel liquid cream i mean any kind of black liner that there is i'm sure i have it so i skipped out on that and went a little bit out of the box with this charcoal one these guys claim to have 36 hour wear time who's wearing these for 36 hours who is it fess up who is it you don't have to put it in the comments send me a dm we'll keep it cute and mute we'll keep it discreet but who is wearing their stuff for 36 hours who's doing that it's not me Next product, if you have seen my videos before, you know I just did a foundation 101, powder foundation 101 video, excuse me, on how I like to apply powder foundation on how my favorite way to do it is. So, of course, I had to buy the new Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation. This one is in the shade 230. While I was looking through the shades, one of the Sephora ladies came and helped me and gave me a very good tip that said these foundations oxidize like crazy and I'm so glad she told me because she I would have come home with a completely you would have seen a new race of Holly because <laughs> yeah I needed to know that so this is what she looks like the actual foundation right there and then you get the applicator down below as well as a mirror up above so let me know this is one of those situations where my sephora didn't have it i didn't want to order it online so i'm a little late to the reviewing new makeup game that makes me i feel like i'm letting you guys down it brings me just anxiety and stress this like I, I dropped the ball on it i missed it so if you still want to review i'll be happy to make a video just dedicated to this powder foundation with the wear test you guys know i love foundation so just let me know down below. I would be happy to do that for you. Next up is a lip product. I really, I, I went out of my box here, guys. I'm, I don't want to give you guys like the same look every single time. But if you have been watching me, you'll know I like looks that you can wear out. Now, some looks, of course, you can wear out to a little more ritzy places or events or like hey i'm trying to show off hey i'm about to run into my ex holly what you got and then other looks are more like okay we're going to target and we just kind of want to look awake i haven't done like out of the box whatever but i'm i'm slowly stepping out a, a toe so i got this <laughs> i just made that big spill and it's like a lip <laughs> you know what i mean okay this is a very vivid pink lip color this is from rare beauty and it is their lip souffle cream souffle souffle cream um i have the red i do love a red lip i really really do falling in love with the red lip and then i love a nice neutral soft pink soft nude beige lip um but this this guy is called energize and it is super super pink even more pink than what the package implies i got this for valentine's day it's coming up so i mean pink valentine's that's just one and one right there and i was wanting to do a, some different looks to kind of show you guys for valentine's not a lot but maybe a few different looks with pinks maybe even some reds and purples and i kind of i was thinking like maybe we do different looks and you guys pick for me what i wear on 
that is so soft and creamy ah uh, this formula is beautiful but you see how pink that is like that's that's not holly pink pinks like that i don't do so i'm actually pretty excited to try this but as i was saying for valentine's i kind of wanted to get your input and collective thoughts from you guys on what I should wear on the actual night that I go out for Valentine's for like a dinner we're not doing anything huge but like dinner or something so I kind of wanted it to be a group effort to decide on what Holly will look like on Valentine's Day anyways that was my big stepping out of the box moment followed by Anastasia Beverly Hills this is another kind of lighter color that I normally wouldn't gravitate towards. This is a lip stain. It is in the shade Dusty Rose. Again, I'm thinking Valentine's for this. It's a very pretty, this is like a deep purple. It's certainly not the same purple on the package. And I know I'm not looking at the package thinking it should be that exact color, but you know what I'm saying. Okay, but I am seeing the dusty, the dusty part of the color. Okay, so that's a cute little moment. Both of those, that is super, super like, baby barbie valentine's pink this one is more softer but we'll play around with it and we'll see what we think on both shades next thing that i purchased brushes i have really been loving the huda beauty brushes i think they're very good quality they're blendable they're dual sided which i didn't think i would love but ever since i started using these i have fallen in love these brushes are expensive but i think having the backups especially for what what i do you know my brushes get dirty quickly so to have the backups on hand and to have them for when my brushes when they start to wear and tear and just get older i think having backup brushes is very important just a personal opinion so i do invest my money in them if you're serious about makeup it's a very good buy my makeup brushes in front of me right now are they're good quality brushes but I have gone through a, my share of not good quality brushes that don't blend very well. That when you go to clean them, the hairs, the bristles are falling off left and right. Like it's just not fun when you don't have good quality brushes. And that does not mean you have to spend bukus of money on brushes. Side note, while in Charlotte, your girl went to the Morphe store. Y'all, that was the first time I'd ever gone into a Morphe store. I went to Charlotte before and the Morphe store was closed. So this was the first store, well one of the first stores I went into on my most recent Charlotte trip and I went straight to the clearance section. I kid you not. That's what I do with most stores. Except for like Sephora, but when you go to Sephora their clearance section is mostly filled with Sephora collection, makeup, and KVD beauty, but I don't know why. I'm Not my business. I don't care. But um, I got these two sets of lashes they're both mink but they were on clearance it's not the point holly get to the point okay clearance section morphe there was clearance and an extra 40 percent off so i absolutely stocked up i was just grabbing brush after brush and called it a day some of these brushes were 96 cents and morphe is very good quality brushes i love their brushes i highly 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 recommend brushes from Morphe, especially if you're just starting out and you don't want to drop a whole bunch of money, just go to Morphe, order them online, go to the clearance section. I, you will be happy, promise. Okay, back to the haul. All right, next up, we don't have much left, so hang tight. Next up is Tatcha. This is new from Tatcha. Y'all know I love some Tatcha. I really, really do. They're an expensive, bougie skincare brand, but their products are beautiful. At least the products that I have tried, they're beautiful. So this is the Dewy Serum. It claims to help skin reach optimal performance by replenishing its essential components. A trio of superfoods and hyaluronic acid visibly plumps, renews, and restores your skin. And uh, I'm certainly not saying I'm old, but I'm getting close to 30. I can't believe I just said that. I can't believe that's true. Oh my gosh. No, okay. Yes, I'm getting close to 30. Can we just move past that moment? <laughs> Anyways, with that being said, I really, really, really honestly, truly have been focusing on my skincare, figuring out my skin's needs. Um, not only the 30 issue, but we're having to wear these masks all the time. And I have noticed just little like irritation around my skin. I don't know if you guys can see it because 
I've covered it up. It's what I do. Gotten good at covering that. But they're just little bumps. They're teeny te tiny. I mean, I can feel them. They're not, I'm not complaining because I do have good skin. But if there are things that I can prevent or things that I can get rid of or things, you know, that I can do to make my skin look younger, yeah, I'm going to do them. So I am going to give this a try. This is what the pump looks like. It's just a very cute little Tatcha number. The purple, the, it's just very Tatcha-y. But one thing that I have heard when looking into skincare, doing my, sorry, I gotta get comfortable. Doing my skincare like research, I did see something that said the easiest wrinkles to prevent are the ones that aren't there yet. So I am like, especially not when I'm not in front of the camera, it is skincare central, daytime, nighttime, midday. I am constantly checking out my skin. So I'm excited to give this a try and see what this does. Next up, this is Peace Out the Acne Serum. No, I, I'm not saying that I have acne, but with this, what I was just talking about, the irritation around my chin, if there are things that I can do to prevent it, I'm going to do it. So I'm going to give this a try and just see what I can do with that. So I did pick this up. This is a new release from Peace Out, as well as the Peace Out Retinol Eye Stick. Um, the darkness underneath my eyes can get really, really bad. Well, in my opinion, it can. So I'm gonna give this a try, see what it does, see how well it plays and works with my skin. I went to two different Sephora's. The first one that I went to, this was completely sold out. The second one that I went to, there were like four left. So of course I snatched one, so now there's only three left. Sorry if you shop at the Charlotte Sephora. You better hurry up and go. Put this on pause and go get it. But I am excited to try this out. I looked, I did some research on this and hopefully it'll hold its own. We'll, I mean, we'll see. We shall see. Okay, we're at the bottom of the bag and I had to treat myself just a, just a little bit. <sighs> I got Gucci perfume. This one is the Gucci Flora. It is limited edition. And then this one is the Gucci Bloom. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the packaging, the bottle, maybe the whole aesthetic of, I don't know. But this, I am obsessed. And it smells absolutely wonderful. Like it's, it's florally, but not too florally. Like I even think my mom would like this. And she's really picky about smells. And I feel like it could be for men and women. It's a, it's a deep smell, but it's not musty, but it's not soft and sweet. I can't explain a smell. I don't. And then the next one. Once again, the bottle is really, really beautiful. It is gorgeous. Look at that, how pretty it is. And this one is the limited edition Flora. Okay, this one is the one they told me there was lavender in it and I was like, okay, I mean, I'll smell it, but lavender is not my number one favorite smell by any means. But it's also mixed with, I think, honeysuckle. I, there was a whole bunch of stuff that she was saying, I don't know. This one is softer. Yes, this one is a lighter, softer smell. Okay, so I think I've got it. This one smells like it's springtime and you're in a meadow and you're in a white floral print flowy dress and the wind is blowing and you're looking back at the camera with your arms stretched out and you're so cute and the sun is out and you're walking through daisies or something. And then this bad boy is more like it's snowing and you're walking up to a log cabin and there's a fire lit inside and you're in flannels. Huh? How'd I do? That's, that's how I would describe these scents. So, snowy, warmer, springy, softer okay guys that is it for my holly haul thank you so much for hanging out with me a little bit today if you haven't already i would love it love it love it if you would subscribe join my beauty youtube family where we are all things positive and happy and makeup of course hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed this video i gotta get that off my hand it's annoying 
Um, thank you so much and take care, stay healthy. I will see you in the next video. Bye.